Good evening, guys. Tonight I will show you the score from the last time for the, from the two benchmarks, the PC Mark 99 and the 3D Mark 2000. Uh, there was a problem with my uh, editing program. Uh, when I tried to uh, to use the score and the film uh, and put together the two videos, uh, there was an error, I believe, on my computer and uh, I couldn't find out why. But the score was not displayed in my previous video. So tonight I'm going to cover this uh, this gap and uh, we'll see that in, in the left side we do have the Voodoo 2000 that it has uh, 2188 points and on the right side is the, is the Voodoo Banshee it has 2544 points and now if we focus down more we see that the CPU uh, using the Voodoo, Voodoo 2000 it has a score of 3179 while on the other hand the Voodoo Banshee has 3154 and if you now, if you try to focus on the uh, the, the score from the uh, uh, 3D Mark 2000, these are the score that I was telling you about. And using the Voodoo 2 2000, we have a score that is for the Voodoo 2 2000, which is in always on the left side, we have uh, 762, while on the other hand, on the right side, we do have 902. Yeah, so these, uh, these are the scores that I was telling you about. Uh, I wanted to make it clear so you can make an idea what difference is, uh, is between the two video cards using the Pentium 2 at 300, uh, 336 MHz. And one of my subscribers gave me an idea to try out the games that was very popular back in the day, the Voodoo 2, the, pardon, the Quake 2, Unreal Tournament, and Quake 3. I was able to run the Quake 2 and uh, Unreal Tournament on this machine using the Pentium 2 on the Windows uh, 98 second edition. But the Quake 3, it doesn't run on uh, using the uh, Windows 98. It does uh, require some of the other programs and uh, DLL files that are not present. And when I tried to upgrade using the series pack that I was telling you about, uh, it simply did not work. Uh, tonight I will only show you the Quake 2 and Unreal Tournament how it will run on this machine using the Voodoo 2 2000 and uh, Voodoo Banshee. So you can make an idea exactly uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, what I want to uh, warn you about is the Voodoo 2 2000 is very choppy. Uh, I dropped down the, uh, the frequency, uh, pardon, the resolution to 640 by uh, 480 using the 60 megabyte and I do have right here so I'm going to show you exactly uh, is in is minimized right here the Unreal Tournament uh, if you go to the preferences I can go uh, 800 by 600 the resolution or I can go uh, 640 by 480 now uh, everything is on low right here we do, we do have the low low for the word texture detail and the skin detail there's nothing else I can uh, modify right here Everything is normal, and of course he's running, uh, he's running the Voodoo 2000 right now. And all I have to do, if I'm going inside using the uh, the Alt Enter, uh, we will do, uh, we will have our problems. And uh, I'm, I'm assuming there is a problem uh, with with the drivers, but it will run anyway. So if you're gonna go to Start Practice Season, uh, Season, pardon, and any map, it doesn't matter which map. I'm going to stop right now.
So this is how the uh, Penim 2 running. Uh, I'm going to switch back to the uh, Voodoo Banshee and see uh, see from there how it goes. So see you then. So I switch back to the to the Voodoo Banshee right now. It does uh, take a little while for the loading times. There's nothing I can do. The hard drive uh, it does. Uh, produce a lot of noise it's very old they also have uh, some of the bad sectors but those sectors are uh, are not only uh, on the important areas so i can use it no problem Okay, we do have the 16 bit. Everything is on low, just like the photo to 2000. Controls will be the same. And the resolution is uh, 800 by uh, 600, 600. Yeah, there is a big differences. I can play this game without problems. Everything is running very nicely, I have to be honest. Yeah, so I'm very impressed. What what can I say? The Voodoo, the Voodoo Banshee is running very nicely, to be honest. Uh, I was able to play uh, 
uh, on uh, 800 by 600 uh, resolution and uh, everything on low of course but uh, I was able to play very nicely so now we're gonna go to the uh, quick tour Alright guys, so this is the gameplay that I was telling you about. I am very satisfied and pleased about the uh, the benchmarks uh, that I did. Uh, you saw yourself uh, that the Voodoo Banshee is a better choice over Voodoo 2000. And uh, yeah, if you decide to buy it on the eBay uh, these days, uh, the Voodoo Banshee, of course you'll not be able to find it at a very cheaper price. But of course if you have an, uh, some kind of project that you that you want to use, uh, you can you can go for it. So yeah. Since these, uh, these are not mine, like I said before in my many videos, of, uh, uh, I will not be able to take the uh, full advantage of, uh, of building something else, such as uh, the, other, uh, the other machines. But uh, they will also inform me that uh, I, can use, uh, I can still use these video cards and I'm intending to, uh, to try it out on the Pendium Tree, uh, see what kind of uh, difference uh, there is. So there is another surprise that I have for you, uh, probably next week or the week after. Uh, I'm, I'm intending to try out the Pendium 3 machine. So what I have to do is just uh, swap the uh, the processor from the old machine that I have right here and use the Pendium 3. In my previous video there is uh, the Pendium 3 that the, I have this running at uh, 550 MHz and of course it's using of course uh, only on the slot 1 machine and my intention is to try the, uh, the benchmarks uh, once again and maybe uh, if I'm installing the Windows XP on the Pendium 3 it will run faster and uh, better the games and uh, using the Windows XP and uh, changing the hard drives because uh, this one right here is 4GB, uh, 4.3GB, it's, it's not enough. So yeah, see you guys very soon in the other videos and uh, thank you for watching once again. Bye.